I did not lie guys, it's another tier list. This time it's a rune tier list for both AD and AP Udia. Um there's gonna be some runes where we have to take like uh, basically like a replacement rune because the rune is not on the list, but it got changed last patch. And yeah, this is for AD and AP Udia because you're probably not gonna exactly go the same runes on both, but it's fine. S tier basically you can rock every game a tier decently strong b tier okay c tier not okay and then the last tier is just basically bad i'm just gonna rename this bad guys we we do things very simply here okay we don't do all this fucking crazy seven word in a tier list type shit we just do one word or a letter okay pta s tier for tiger Odia pta is s tier it's essential and you can't go without it now conqueror is dead hail of baits is a joke and face rush is a meme talking about face rush goodbye sir this is probably the memeiest rune for Odia. by the time you are in melee range with face rush right you would be in approach velocity range which approach velocity makes you sticky if you want to disengage as Udir, you probably took a fight that is shit in the first place. And he probably did like a mistake. So, Face Rush is just overall a meme rune and you don't need it. We talked about approach velocity, in my opinion, that's S tier. That shit is just crack on Udir. If you need to be sticky to a target, you go approach velocity. And in my opinion, the other movement speed runes aren't that good in the first place, but we're gonna get into them later. Leave for tempo got removed, rip, fleet footwork. I would put fleet over face rush just because it scales somewhat and it helps you in the jungle. But and also has a better tree, but fleet is bad. Conqueror is S tier. Over here, now we have Absorb Life Rune, which I'm just gonna put into C category too. Like Absorb Life, you're never gonna rock on Udia. This is jungle by the way, not top. I'm not a top lane expert. Triumph is S tier because you're gonna rock it most of your games. Presence of Mind is for jungle is C tier. For top lane it's kind of okay, but since we are jungle, we're gonna put it into C tier. Alacrity, I will put into B tier. Alacrity, honestly, not even on Tiger you need Alacrity that much, unless you know that your first item gives you CDR, in which case you are not reliant on getting CDR from your runes, but even then I would say that... Um, CDR rune is better. We have to take this as the CDR rune, by the way, because the CDR rune is not added to this page, so we'll, we will use this, uh, which is S tier. CDR rune, you're almost gonna see every good Udia player use on every rune page. CDR is... Udia is more of a... Like, you, you don't have any persistent effects in your kit anymore, and therefore attack speed got kind of reduced in value and CDR got kind of increased in value so Udi is a CDR champion by every stretch of the imagination. Keep in mind guys this is not how the CDR rune looks in game. I just couldn't find a list that has all the new runes. I think this is the closest one I can get. Bloodline is still in the game right but it doesn't matter. Bloodline is a trashy rune. Um, I will put it into C. You just don't. Lifesteal is a bad stat on Udi guys. Udir deals most of his damage through abilities, be it AD or AP Udir. And Bloodline, Lifesteal only heals you for your auto attack, some certain on hits, and crit. Which are three things that Udir doesn't have. Yeah, your Q has an on hit, but I actually think that this on hit doesn't count towards Lifesteal for some funny reason. Coop, I will put an S tier. Coop is insane for Tiger. Tiger deals a lot of burst. You're instantly going to put every target into Coop range when you fight them and therefore coop is just a very very good rune you're just gonna burst them much more um consistently with tiger now you probably ask why do i not go cut down if i have so much upfront damage well as tiger udir most of the time by the time you hit a target they already have been hit by other champions because you have to walk up run up in your e do some auto attacks on the target deal some damage and that's it right it's just, at this point, by the time you are walking up to, let's say, a Malphite, your ADC has already auto-attacked him four times, taking away damage he would deal in your cutdown range. But for Phoenix, Udi, it's a completely different game. 
for Phoenix to deal, you're almost always gonna graze somebody or hit somebody with your R or your R2 that is full HP or close to full HP. Also, you don't burst that much. That means that targets are gonna stay in this higher HP range for longer, meaning that your R is gonna get more out of cutdown than it is out of cool because naturally speaking, you're gonna graze and hit more champions with your R when they are full HP because you don't burst them down. And also you use it as a poke tool makes sense last stand i will put into a i think last stand is good in certain matchups where like you want to be a tank where you want to be a front runner, where you want to be auto attacking and not play this meiji type price star that is like very common right now in phoenix studio um it's a good rule it basically just makes it the more damage the lower you are so you have to you need things that keep you fighting while you are low which for most phoenix builds right now you're just gonna drop an r2 but this is still good because it gives you more damage than the other runes technically i can't put electrocute you know what i can't put electrocute behind fleet in my opinion fleet is bad electrocute is bad face rush is you need to get um sent to guantanamo bay this room doesn't exist in the game anymore dark harvest same kind of situation why would you take the harvest over pta or conquer it just never makes sense never even if you go full ap you would probably get more damage just by having more ap from your r uh, from your conqueror on your r than proccing dark harvest i can put it over this because dark harvest has a better niche than these two but it's still in shit tier it's like fighting for rank one and shit tier so it doesn't really matter hail of blades i can't really put into omega shit tier it's okay you can cook some lethality builds with it but generally speaking it's kind of bad um cheap shot goes into the same category you can make use of it but udi doesn't care about getting more damage from his runes usually uh from his secondary runes he wants to get utility like mobility tankiness stuff like this you don't actually rely on dealing more damage but you pay the opportunity cost of going cheap shot over utility so it actually makes the rune much worse if you could just pick random runes and just make your entirely own rune page it would be a different spiel but like this no thank you taste of blood is pretty troll you're never gonna rock this in the jungle sudden impact i'm gonna put in the same category as this maybe even shittier this can you can actually proc without thinking this you have to use your e dash for zombie ward honestly zombie ward would be okay if you play for anti-vision in my opinion polar ward is horrible because you don't you're not going to keep green ward for the entire game um eyeball collector i can put into 80 it's actually good it's just three stats guys udi loves stats you get three stats it's decent this is not part of the runes anymore this is not part of the runes but we have we have the what do we have we have the bounty rune now we have relentless and we have ultimate so we're gonna use one of them as the bounty rune bounty hunter rune just goes into c uh, let's actually put it into b you get like a lot of gold out of it you can snowball with it it's not horrible you can play with it but again you're losing a lot of utility but you get a lot of gold to buy utility i would even put it into low a i think it's probably the best rune in red tree almost relentless hunter I'm gonna put into low A. Having a lot of movement speed out of combat is not a bad thing for you. It just helps you get around the map faster when you're done clearing. It's not a bad thing. It helps you gank, etc., etc. Ultimate, I have to put into B. Um, Ultimate Hunter works on your passive now, which helps you drop more R2s for. Q Udia, I would say it's completely irrelevant because you just play for one awaken rotation usually because you burst people and yeah ultimate hunter is not that great every comment you know what <laughs> i can't put com like these runes are so shit down here that i can't put comment in the same rune page as face rush but I have to because it's troll. Comet is bad, guys. It's again like one of these runes that make you deal more damage in a shittier way than the other good runes while giving you a shittier rune page. Nullifying Orb, pretty bad. Mana Flow Band, pretty bad. Numbers Cloak is okay, but you will never use it. Celerity is fine. 
again, my, my problem with Celerity is that Celerity works on bonus mobility, meaning your base mobility doesn't benefit that much from it other than the 1% you get from this rune. Meaning that you have to actively use your E in combat to be sticky, which makes it, in my opinion, much worse than approach. But I also can't put it that much lower than like something like Relentless Hunter because they fill a very similar niche. Transcendence, I would put into B. It's okay. It's not great, I know, dear. Um, absolute. F this is absolute focus, right? I think so. Yeah, this is Scorch. I think absolute focus goes into C. At least you get some stats from it, and Scorch goes into that category. I don't even know if Scorch is still in the game, to be honest. Uh, but this rune is just completely met, in my opinion. Water walking. I will put water walking over celerity. Now, if you could just take water walking approach velocity, that would be bolder, or approach velocity and celerity. But water walking is a very conditional rune, right? You only get it in a river, but a lot of fights that are important to Udia happen in the river, so it's good. It's pretty, pretty good. Then we have Gathering Storm. I don't think he would ever play for this, but it's not as bad as something like Face Rush because it's just basically three stats over the period of the game. There's like not much to it. Grasp for jungling goes into C. It's better than Face Rush, to be honest, or these runes because you can actually do something with Grasp in the jungle. It's just not great. I would almost say Aftershock goes into a bad category, but I'm going to put it into C. Face Rush is just so much inferior to all these other runes that they just have to separate these two. Guardian goes into bad category, though Udi is not a supportive champion at all. Demolish goes into C. If you play AD Udi and you know that you can take grubs and take early towers, then you can actually generate a lot of gold, probably way more gold than um, the Bounty Hunter rune. But the biggest issue with it is that, like, you can't guarantee it. And your team can tilt very hard if you take their plates too, which is also, like, a fact that they're just gonna go AFK. Uh, Fond of Life, honestly, I'm gonna put into bad category. Shield Bash, I'm gonna put into this category. You can use it, but you would never really swap it out for something that is like more useful like approach velocity or this like this is just not a great room because of where it sits if this would be in the inspiration tree and you can take um approach velocity and shield bash maybe you would go it more often but again it's just not in a, in a it's just not in a good position for you to take it you know what i mean conditioning is actually pretty good in my opinion you get a lot of stats for free again with the last stats second wind in the jungle is troll you can't really play for it. Bone plating is probably slightly better because you can use it on skirmishes, but it's still very bad. C tier is not a good tier, as you can tell. There's a lot of runes that just you can use, but they are pretty bad in here. Overgrowth, I will put actually into A tier. Udia feels extremely strong if you have conditioning and overgrowth. Especially overgrowth just giving you that much HP. It's actually a pretty good rune, in my opinion. Pretty, pretty good rune. Then, I think Glacier got removed, right? Oh no, Glacier is still in the game. Um, hold on, let me actually double check that real quick so I actually know what runes are in the game and what runes aren't. Is Glacier in the game, everybody? It is. Is Scorch in the game still? Yes, okay. I'm not so wrong about the runes right now. Revitalize, I'm gonna put into a B category. You can do a lot with uh, Revitalize, bigger shielding and healing on Odia. It's not a bad rune at all. The green tree is, generally speaking, solid, but uh, usually Udia wants to bank more on mobility on his second tree than tankiness, but it depends on the matchup. If you're up against champions where you just don't need that much mobility or you need more survivability, you can go green tree and it's perfectly fine. Unflinching is horrible after the changes. It only gives you like 8 armor while you are stunned, like kek, okay. Don't really need that. Glacial is troll in my opinion. You just become a supportive champion, the same reason why you don't go guardian you don't go glacial this is not in the game anymore let me actually see what replaced that oh right it's first strike now first strike i mean you can cook some like fine you can cook something with a full ap build or something with first strike and it should be in the category that's usable 
Uh, this doesn't exist any- No, this does exist. Holy shit, what is this rune? Nobody even takes this. Spellbook kicks the forgotten. Nobody needs that shit. Hex flash. Gonna put it into C. You can use it, but there's just better options. Magical footwear. I'm gonna put into S. No bias at all, of course. Magical approach velocity is my favorite second rune page. I think it's the most solid, the strongest, and it just gives you the best value. Getting boots for free saving you 300 gold but these boots actually give you movement speed that is worth for 400 gold is just really good the fact that you get them dependent on your game state is also kind of decent if the game is very slow you get the boots later if the game is very aggressive you get the boots very fast just a very very solid rune choice is stopwatch still in the game it isn't. Stopwatch got replaced with Jack of All Trades. I mean, guys, these are all meme runes, by the way. Jack of All Trades can go here. Cashback can... Cashback you can... Nah, cashback just works if you have a lot. Okay, if you do like some weird assassin build, cashback could be decent. But you know what? Fuck the shit. Cashback goes into C. It's not good. Then this goes here. You're never gonna use that. Do they still have the biscuits? They do. It's interesting. Cosmic Insight is in the same row as Approach Velocity, but it's actually a really good rune. It's just more stats. It gives you 18 Summoner Haste and then 10 Item Haste. It's not a bad rune, honestly, but it's just like in a bad row. Then we have Triple Tonic. Triple Tonic, you can say, okay, you get a free level. That's something. Okay, now the stat charts. Actually, that is very interesting because people are so confused about stat charts, even though that's probably the easiest aspect of building when it comes to, to Udir. Um, this is S tier. You're always going to have two Adaptive Force runes in every build. Never go attack speed. Attack speed is troll, bro. It is troll. You don't need the attack speed on any build. If you go top lane, you can argue for it. The same goes for... The same... You know what? I almost want to put it here, but... CDR gets demoted to here. Scaling HP is very good. Armor and magic resistance is just troll. You're never, like, really gonna go with it. And that concludes the list, guys. If you agree with this list, let me know in the comments. If you disagree, also let me know in the comments. Liking and subscribing is much appreciated. Check out the link in the description below to join my Discord server if you want me to review your thoughts for free. We have a channel on the Discord server where you can send me either the VOD you can send me your name and I can check it out, or you can send me the vote ID, which is probably the easiest way for me to see the replays. Anyways, guys, see you guys on the next tier list, surely.